Extreme poverty is the main cause of child labor. Currently, the extreme poor in Ghana stands at 18.2%. To reduce this figure, government introduced the Livelihood Empowerment Against Poverty program, which gives cash and health insurance to extremely poor families, especially in rural communities. However, the use of child laborers in these communities are not reducing as steadily as expected. In this regard, social protection is being promoted as an effective tool to reducing the percentage of child laborers. According to the Ministry of Employment and Labor Relations, opportunities need to be made available in such communities if Ghana is to reduce the number of child laborers. Some people believe that you are poor because you are lazy. I am not with that school. I believe that you are poor because we are not given opportunity. If we extend opportunities to all, the opportunity will be seized on and the potential of, the, of those people will be developed. Now we have a morning star, which is a first class school. And when we go there, we have trained teachers, we have facilities and everything. But when you look at Fautrikosi, which is one of the villages, you go there, there's no trained teacher. They don't have facilities. But they are going to do the same exams. So if the children there fail, it does not mean that they are lazy. It is opportunity they did not get. If you bring those children to Morningstar, they will, they will pass. Most of these child laborers are found in the agricultural sector. The General Agricultural Workers Union of the Trades Union Congress thus says that because child laborers are found in the informal labor sector, if the activities of the sector could be regulated and monitored, it would be effective in ensuring child labor is stopped. We have always said that where organized labor is present, it's not possible for child labor to be prevalent. Ghana, for example, all the places where unions are working and they have collective agreements in place with employers, it's not possible for child labor to exist. It is the informal economy where we have not been able to unionize or organize the people. That is where we are struggling now. So now we have extended our unionization processes to the informal economy. Fishing communities harbor a large number of child workers while others act as domestic helps in the urban areas. It is not uncommon to see children involved in trading, such as selling of sachet water on the streets of Accra, even during the night. With the incoming World Day Against Child Labour slated for June 12, stakeholders have therefore renewed their efforts to establish an effective social protection to reduce and stop child labour across the country by engaging the media in a discussion under the national theme Combating Child Labour in Ghana through Effective Social Protection. Deborah Smolilomotis reports for ETV Ghana News.